Hey, what's up everybody? So, if I'm not mistaken, Red Bull gives you wings. Isn't that true? I think so. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, uh, really quickly before I get started, I would like to say, no, I'm not sponsored by Red Bull, but if someone would like to send this entry to Red Bull for fun, and see if they want to sponsor some of my fun work. I will incorporate more stuff like this. So Red Bull, awesome job guys. Anyway, um, I love all the sports and stuff. It's really crazy. Really crazy. Anyway, kind of like me I guess. Uh, so my name's Russ. I'm with rwresearch.com. Um, I gave you guys a little quick video um, a couple weeks ago about this diamagnetic uh, levitation device which I happened to knock off of my uh, cabinet here. Luckily it's all just press fit. So if you want to watch that I'll link in the description but today I'm going to show you a different type of levitation. Um, this is a little bit different style. That uses no power that I showed last time. It was just diamagnetic levitation. This is actually using magnetism and repelling magnetism. A little bit of gravity but mostly all magnetism on this one. So this is what I've got. I've got just a piece of iron here with a, a Red Bull can and a neodymium magnet. This is just a one inch neodymium sphere magnet. Okay. And I can just put it right back up there. Um, so what do I got here? Well, basically, this isn't anything new. And I don't recall that I even made this schematic. I know I did some modifications to the original but I'll have to find the original for you. That's a great shot. I'll check it out. Off my glass back there. Um, yeah, so this is uh, levitation. Now, um, I'm going to give you a quick explanation of what's going on here. And then I'll show you some pictures. Now, for some reason, um, I don't know why I didn't write down the schematic, but I built this whole thing and didn't write down the schematic. I know, kind of silly of me. But there are other people doing this exact same thing. And... Um, yeah, so I will show you pictures at the end with no schematic. I'll link you to a page that you can read about how uh, a way to build this for yourself. So inside this can is a an iron bolt, and I milled out the bottom with a little um, hall sensor in the bottom of it. This was a different type of hall sensor than what they wanted, so I had to make some changes to make it work right. But it's got a hall sensor which detects a magnetic field. Then on the top side of that iron bolt is a, neo, I think there's two neodymium magnets, three quarter inch magnets. There may only be one, but I think there's two. Three quarter inch diameter by one inch long. And on that bolt there are two electromagnetic coils. So what's actually happening right, right now is the magnet up here is actually pulling it towards, is pulling this magnet towards that iron bar and the magnets on top. So the magnets on top are just uh, magnetizing the bar, a certain polarity. So this magnet wants to go up towards those magnets. And the other magnets take that magnetic core, that iron bolt, and de-energize the magnetism inside of it. So it's counteracting, the, ele the, uh, the electromagnets are counteracting the magnets inside the top here. And basically what happens is gravity wants to pull this thing down and those magnets wants to keep it up and the iron bolt equalizes the field so it falls out and comes back up, falls out and comes back up. <clears throat> and that hall sensor is detecting how far away or close that um, this magnet is from the can. Now um, that's essentially the entire thing. There's a circuit inside here too that the hall sensor is attached to and the circuit is... I have tried several versions of this. Some of them use IR or infrared LEDs or just a transmitting and receiving LED and the beam hits the very top of this whatever you can put whatever you want in there. You don't have to use a magnet but if you use magnets you can get the distance further away. So I could take for instance this screwdriver and stick it up in there and it will just levitate. That's the other style because it uses a beam of light across here to actually starting to bounce on me. That's one thing that's hard. It uses light across here 
to calibrate where that's at and it just pulls it up to the electromagnet and gravity wants to pull it down. That's the other style. I tried that. I had a hard time. I did get it to levitate but it wanted to oscillate and then it would fall out. So I built this one and I had the same problem and I don't remember how I solved it just messing around with a bunch of capacitors trying to get that feedback signal to level out because it'll over time it'll start oscillating. If you get it adjusted just right it won't. Let me show you what I got. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see it. We'll go with that. All right. So I'm going to take this magnet off. Right here is just a red bull can with a cap on it. And um, this can has been dropped a few times, so it's pretty beat up. It used to be nice. So it's got two magnets up here, and it's got a hole right here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a hole right there. And that hole is for adjusting the height of this. It adjusts that feedback. So for instance, let me zoom in, you'll actually see it move. I'm just going to stick my, my screwdriver right here, and I'm going to turn that. And when I do, you'll see, see my screwdriver in there, you'll see that move up and down. So let's see, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to hold my finger up here in case it flies up there. And then I turned it the other way and it fell out. Okay, so I'm just at the threshold, it won't stay. So if I turn it up a little the other way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it up until it hits me. Let's see how I can adjust the height. Now it's, if you get it, now it's really, really stable. And I can go more and eventually it'll get too close. It's, now it's wanting to pull up. So I'll turn it back down. Somewhere right in there is fairly stable. So one fun thing that I like doing with this is taking, um, let's see, this this is actually a uh, one of those uh, wire things for the breadboards. I like attaching it on here like this. Let's see, let's curl it up first. We'll do something like that. Oops. Pull it off there. Whoops. Pull it off there. Alright, so now it's just it's just dangling. Let me get you down a little bit. Now you can just blow it. and it will just kind of sit there and spin all day it's kind of fun you can do some pretty cool stuff but uh... that's something you can do it's kind of fun the other thing is really kind of fun i used to be able to see if i can get a regular ink pen here i don't think i i might not even have a regular ink pen down here huh, probably, do it. probably don't here's one now oh, that's a pencil Here we go. So, to make this adjustable, oh, it's non magnetic. What is up with that? I should have done this before I got started, huh? These must be real expensive pins. Alright, let's try this. So, there you go. Now you've got a now you've got a magnetic magnetic pen levitator. Anyway, I'm not gonna bore you too much. This isn't anything new, but it's just fun to play with. Um, so if you want to build something like this, uh, I will I will show you the detailed build that I did here, and then um, oh the power supply is just a little 12 volt power supply. You, the coils I'm using are actually, um, let me grab one, they're 24 volt coils, but you could also, this one's 32, I got a little bit different style, but this come out of a solenoid. This is all it is, it's a real simple coil. I've got two of these on that bolt, you'll see them in the, I guess I should show you those other pictures too before we go. Um, 
But yeah, that's it. Just a fun little levitation device. I did have this on my desk at work for quite a while. Um, the bottom here, you can see I've got a little piece of uh, like rubber on there because when that thing flies up there and hits that, um, I actually cut a slot in that bolt so that whenever this thing did fly up and hit that, it didn't destroy the chip because it would smash it. That thing's got some nasty force. And uh, here, let me show you something else really cool. If if you get this set just right, and it actually it looks really good. I'm going to take this pin off anyway. If you get this set just right, I can actually, I can move it around. I mean, it really does a good job. at keeping with whatever you want there. So if you get it adjusted right, you can do that quite simply. See if I can get it attached without knocking it off. The top magnets could have been a little bigger. Anyway, kind of cool. So I'm going to take this magnet off. I will show you. Whoa. Woo! There must be nails under there. I'll show you the top of the can. And I've just got little studs in there. I could have put screws in there. Oh, that one slipped out. That must have fell off one day. Well, usually they're like that. Well, let's see if we can push that one back on. There we go. It must have it must have broke. It fell off one day from about six feet and hit the ground, so it got a little smashed up. Um, I pushed the bottom out and made it flat so that the the stuff would fit inside it well. Um, and then I drilled a hole in the side, and there's a pinhole with a uh, potentiometer. It's actually a 10 turn potentiometer. Okay, it's not some little one turn. It's a 10 turn because it's super sensitive. And then it just goes back to this little power supply. Nothing special. It's a little 12 volt power supply. You use a battery. But anyway, those top magnets hold it on wherever I want it. And the bottom holds it from levitating. If it'll focus. <laughs> it sees that reflection back there. Well, anyway, you get the idea. So there you go. I'll leave you at that. For those of you who are interested in my daily, my daily, what's Russ up to lately? Um, I've been working way too many hours. Um, they've given me the opportunity to work a few overtime hours, and I've taken it because I need the money. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm just a person making a living working. So, got a family to support. That's the way it is. And um, I haven't got a whole lot of anything done, uh, unfortunately. This is something I built quite a long time ago, probably about a year and a half ago, at least. Uh, the original one that I tried to build, I'll grab it. It's, uh, it's the one with the photo eyes, or with the little diodes. This is what it originally looked like. I had the LEDs across here. I built this probably five years ago. But anyway, that's it. Uh, Russ with RWGResearch.com. If you want to see this other thing, check it out in the description. But uh, yeah, seriously, I'm honestly like serious about somebody sending this to Red Bull. I think it'd be fun. Um, Red Bull gives you wings, right? That's their quote, yeah? <laughs> anyway, um, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Um, more daily other research to be done soon. Uh, I got a lot of stuff organized in my basement, which is what I'm really wanting to do, but I do have a lot more to go. Um, life is what it is. Right now, family comes first, um, and supporting them is first. Uh, actually, they're both second. God comes first, and then family, but no worries. Um, we'll get some stuff done. So there you go. Enjoy. Have a good day. Peace and love to you all. And I'll see you soon.
Red Bull gives you wings. Isn't that true? I think so.